Today I want to talk to you a little bit about covered bridges. When you're looking at maps, you'll see, of course, the bridges over the rivers and streams. Now, some of them will say covered bridge, and some of them won't. Now, if it's a covered bridge, that can be bad for us people that like to look for stuff in the water nearby, especially underneath. Because we all know that when people go over bridges, they throw stuff over, whether it's you know guns they want to get rid of, or cannonballs they want to get rid of, or you know just wedding bands they want to get rid of. So bridges are great places to look, you know, right underneath. Covered bridges, not so much. I'm going to show you why right now. Martin's Mill Bridge. You can see it's old. It was built in 1849. And this is what it looks like inside. You can see it's covered over. Hence, covered bridge. Beautiful little creek here. It's called the Conica Jig. You can see it's nice and clear. Uh, it would be great to get down in there today and look around. But, alas, we can't do that because this is a park. And, guess what? You can't look for treasure here. But, I can show you where to look for treasure if you could come here. Let's start at the beginning. A covered bridge. What does that mean? And why did they cover it? Here we go. This is what a typical bridge would look like that was built in the mid-1800s. Okay, you had these nice big timbers for the floor, and you needed to have nice heavy timbers for the heavy wagons. And the problem with the bridges in the old days is, of course, they're made out of wood, and they did not have treated wood like they have nowadays, so the boards would rot really fast. So over the course of five or ten years, they would have to replace these big, thick floorboards, and that was very expensive for the towns or whoever was upkeeping the bridge. So what they did is they would put a roof over it. Now this roof is tin, but in the old days it would have been shingles, like wood shakes or something like that. And if they had to replace a roof, that wasn't a big deal. I mean, that was, didn't cost as much as replacing the entire floor. Now, if you're walking down through this bridge, what do you notice? As far as we're concerned, treasure hunters are concerned. If you're going over it in a wagon, you can't see the water. You can't stop here on the middle of the bridge, get out of your wagon, and pick up the cannonball or the old broken up muskets that you have in the back and pitch them over the side in the water where the kids won't find them because you can't get to the water. On this bridge, you'll see little windows, but I suspect that is just for us tourists, so that we can see the creek. But there are a couple other considerations for a covered bridge. Uh, one is that there probably wasn't always a covered bridge here. There may have been a ford here before then. This one was built in 1849. Well, guess what? They settled this area 100 years before that, and they still had to get across the creek, so they probably just forded it. So let's go look at the water itself and see if there's a good place that we could actually look, if it was allowed here. Now, if detecting was allowed here, you had permission, even if the bridge was no longer standing, the first thing I would do is look at the water and see if there's a nice flat area with some solid rock that would have made a good ford. All right, I can see a little V here. That might actually be an old fish weir, I'm not sure. But you want to look up and down the creek for areas that might have been a ford before the bridge was built. Keep in mind, too, that this was back during the days when they had to have horses to pull the wagons and they rode horses. And horses needed water, so anytime you crossed a creek like this, there was probably a spot where you could bring your wagon down to the water and the horses could get a drink. So that might be another good area to check, someplace like that. So when you see covered bridge on the map, it really means something. Not just that there's a roof over it, but that there's little to no access to the water from the bridge itself. So people aren't going to be throwing that stuff over, and it's likely to be much, much less stuff. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the little tip. I have another spot we're going to go check out. But I'm losing hope because we're losing sunlight. Ooh, wonder what this is. I guess that's a fish scale. A lot of trash here though, huh? Look at all the trash. Pretty sad. I think somebody was probably digging bottles there by the looks of it. Tisk tisk.